we go. This is it. This is it. There he is. Uh oh. No. Okay, what's going on, Fishaholics? Rich here, and I got my crabs. And uh, I'm just gonna kind of do a quick little walkthrough. And today we're gonna launch the kayak and go out for some tog. Beautiful day, not too rough, but uh, there is a little bit of a wind coming out of the northwest. So uh, we're probably gonna focus on the inlet for now until the wind dies down, and then maybe if it dies down, go a little bit further down the beach to uh, a couple different spots that I, that I know have tog, but I've never fished before for tog. And, uh, you know, this is going to be my second outing for Tog. First time I went out, I caught two little fish, but, uh, you know, I forgot my sinkers. I forgot my GoPro batteries. Couldn't get a lot of footage. And uh, we're going to make sure we have everything today. So we got uh, some jig heads here, egg float, some swim bait, some bucktails, little Yozuris. We got, you know, we got a little deadly dick here. We got some backup sinkers and uh, you know some hooks and some swivels got our 20 pound liter material over here that's fluorocarbon got my little battery pack here with some flies and as well as some more deadly dicks and crippled herrings and uh, we could run into some albies you never know so I got an albie rod rigged up with a little crippled herring on it and then we have our tog rod here rigged up and uh, we're gonna be prepared for a little bit of everything. You know, if I, got, if I run into stripers, we're gonna be able to catch them. If we run into albies, we're gonna be able to catch them. And, uh, you know, hopefully we're gonna target tog and, and catch tog. So that's what we're after. But uh, let's head on out there. All right, let's see what we got here. Since it doesn't take, you know, much science to hook a crab on a hook and drop it next to a jetty to catch a tog, I think it's 1.30 right now. Yeah, it's 127 so 1 30 p.m we're gonna give it two hours fishing along the jetties here and uh, we're gonna see how many tog we can catch i did want to go way that way to a point but uh you know because of the wind and you know i just don't want to go all the way there it's like a mile and a half pedal i probably will get soaked going there i might as well try the jetties until the wind dies down if it dies down getting some taps there he is fish on Oh my gosh, look at this giant. That is a tog though, so that's one on the board. Oh, that was very cold. Ah, we're gonna try and go over to that jetty. I'm not feeling this jetty. See some albies breaking pretty close out there. I'm gonna make a run for them. Got some albies in my sight. Oh, there's albies there. See, with this little crippled herring, you gotta fish it fast enough so it's just skipping right on top of the surface. That's how these albies like it. I'm gonna try a deadly dick here. Sometimes they want the deadly dick and not the crippled herring. Oh yeah, it's blowing up, it's blowing up. Look at this, look at this insanity. Hook a fish, don't hook a bird. There he is, got one. Oh, I think he came off. Oh no, he's swimming towards me. Oh, this little 1,000 reel can't handle it. They were going so hard. I gotta chase the fish down just so he doesn't spool this little 1,000 reel. I can barely lift this fish up. This is a good one. Pretty big one. I'm also like way under tackled. This might be a 10 pounder.
dang, what is this thing? This thing must be massive or maybe he's tail hooked or something. It's either a really big albie or he's tail hooked. All right, we got him. We got him. That's still a pretty big one. Whew. All right, see you later. Had to get that one back quick because I was pulling him in sideways for probably a while. Whew, that fish destroyed my arms. Try hooking any fish in the side and try reeling them in. It's like ridiculously tough. And then on this light little rod, I think he wants the race. So uh, at least we got one. You know, we got him any way we could get him. Got him in the body. You know, anybody can hook him in the mouth. The, the, the real skill is to get him in. Oh, just had Albies right here. <laughs> they're back up. They're back up. Look at this. Right there, there's some albies. Oh, there he is! Oh, I saw him crush it. Oh, he came off. Dang, man, dang. There he is. Oh, that was epic right there. Oh yeah, that's more like it. Using this light little rod is like a workout. I'm using a uh, seven foot Tsunami Slim Wave and the Pen Battle 1000. Are you joking? This is a joke right now. Dang, son. Oh, no, come back, come back. Oh, that was crazy. That'd be epic if I can get him to hit it. Just like that, right next to the kayak. These albies are feeding pretty good now. And these hooks are razor sharp. I don't know why they're falling off the hook. Here we go, this is it, this is it. There he is. Oh my gosh, that was insane. Let's see if we can actually get this one in the kayak now. Every time they turn, it feels like they come off and I just, you gotta keep cranking in order to keep those hooks pinned so they don't come unbuttoned. Oh, whoo, that's a tank right there. That's a big one on the deadly dick. Hooked him really good too. He wasn't coming off. Whew. All right, let's get him back. There he goes. Whoo! Finally got another one in the kayak. All right. Let's see if there's any tog here. It's a really rocky spot. 
I've never caught tog here before. So we're gonna try it. Got a couple hours left of daylight. Wasted a good chunk of my time chasing those albies, but at least it's worth it if you catch a couple. You know, I've chased albies for hours before and caught none. And uh, to get a couple, that's not too bad. Ooh, I like this. Nice big boulder. I got the reverse on on the drive. So it's like perfect for like going up the structure and then kind of holding yourself in like one spot. Like I want to be close to this big rock, but I don't want to be knocking into it. We got Albies right here behind me. This is like too hard to resist. They're in shallow water, unless they're stripers. Might be stripers. What is that? What was it? Oh, it's an Albi. It's an Albi. Oh my gosh. They're up here in like three feet of water. Oh my gosh. Uh oh. No. You see that? Oh, he went down into the backing. Damn, son. That's a really big failure right there. That's what happens when you use a 1,000 size reel for Albies. And uh, he went that way, I was going this way because the wind was pushing me that way, the current's going that way. And I, co I couldn't chase him. This rod was in the way. God dang. Killer sunset. But uh, yeah. I got taken to school by that last albie. And uh, the tog bite was kind of futile, but it was really challenging to catch tog when the albies were going crazy around the kayak. And I must say that probably every 10 minutes for the 50 minutes I tried to catch tog, uh, you know, I was taking a cast at albies. And uh, I got taken to school because I had this rod here and this rod holder. And here's just a tip, if you're ever going for albies or if you're going for striped bass, bluefish, make sure you don't have any rods other than the rod you're using in these rod holders here because it just helps clear the area, clears the zone out. And uh, the whole reason I lost that albie was because I took a cast at, you know, some breaking fish. Boom, he nailed it like immediately. I thought it was a bass. I didn't know it was an albie at first. Like I thought the fish hitting surface maybe were stripers because they were so shallow. And the albie went this way quick. Then he turned and went this way around the kayak. And my rod was so doubled over, I could barely even, you know, lift it over this rod. And then by the time I got it over the rod and went that way, the wind was pushing me this way and the fish was going with the current that way. And it was just a big shit show. And that's why the fish spooled me and uh, broke me off so rookie mistake you know we all have those days we all make mistakes and uh, you know I just wasn't uh, wasn't ready for that I guess wasn't uh, wasn't wasn't using the noggin wasn't thinking I guess is a good way to put it all, all I would have had to do is take an extra two seconds to be like and take this rod put it back there and then you know bust out that lighter rod and I would have had that albie probably and uh, I actually rigged up this rod thinking I was going to get into some albies on the way back in but that wasn't the case the only thing I caught was the sunset and uh, we're going to head on in and I guess this is it for the video another albie video so I hope you guys enjoyed uh, you know initially I was trying to catch tog today but you know <laughs> when the albies are going crazy it's uh, it's hard to forget about that and go for tog. I mean, 
you know, eventually it'll, the Albies will get old, you know, or eventually they'll leave. So I have a feeling they'll be gone in a week or so and I'll be wishing they were here. So I'd rather get my licks in now than try and get it in later when it might be, it might be spotty. Today they were thick. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, coming up this weekend, I'm, I was thinking about going back to Jersey or uh, going to Rhode Island. So I don't know, you might uh, see some of my next videos, either maybe one or two more here and then maybe in Jersey for a little bit or Rhode Island, but eh, I don't know, I'm gonna be efficient. So anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget, to get, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and a like and subscribe. Never forget, live the fish fish to live.